Hello there. So today I'm going to test the effects that fruit has on my blood glucose levels. As you guys know from my last video, I am wearing a, a continuous blood glucose monitor and I'm not a type 1 diabetic. So I'm seeing how different foods affect my body. So today I'm going to have a look at fruit and timing of fruit and what you add with fruit to make it spike your insulin a little less. And if you haven't already, that subscribe button that's hanging out somewhere right there just give it a little bit of a good morning so today i am at day two i didn't put it on yesterday at midday so i guess this will be day one and a half but day two of wearing my blood glucose patch so this morning i woke up and i really wanted to see what my morning blood blood glucose levels were and i was a 4.8 so that is pretty perfect and that's what i want to aim to keep as much as possible but then I woke up, had a shower, came back, checked it again, and I was at 5.7, which is a big jump. So what has happened is all my hormone levels and my adrenals and everything is all waking up in the morning. So it does have a massive spike. So I kept getting ready for work, and then it went to, it dropped down to 5.5, and then tried to relax a little bit, did a few things, made my bed, did my makeup, went down to 5.2, and then I sat on my bed and I took 10 really deep breaths and just relaxed and I went down to a 5. So I'm really curious to see over the next two weeks how much my adrenals have effect on my blood glucose levels. Because of my thyroid issue is affected by adrenal fatigue, I'm interested to see how much control I can have over it by just relaxing and breathing. So this morning's test is my breakfast. It's a low carb breakfast so I'm interested to see how this bad boy affects me over the next hour. So breakfast this morning, we've got two eggs, a quarter of an avocado, a bunch of different mushrooms, and some kimchi. So this is low carb, so this shouldn't spike my sugar levels too much. I'm just about to head off to juicy training. I'm totally going to be late, but I just want to quickly do this. So this morning's breakfast that you guys saw, my glucose levels were actually pretty stable. I think it went to like a 5 I was under 5.5, I don't remember exactly now, but it was pretty good. And then I waited about two hours to have my carbohydrates, which was two pieces of um, mandarins, two pieces of fruit. And I went up to a 5.8 or 5.9, so close to a 6. And then I was pretty good, had a coffee, so it dropped away for us to get back down, had a coffee, and then it went back up to a 5.3, 5.4. So I've noticed throughout the day, through my working day, I've been sitting between a 5.2 and a 5.6. And I've done a few little things that as I've been working, I could feel my adrenals and my cortisol going up a little bit. I'll do a scan and it goes up about two or three millilittle points or whatever the calculation is. So point two or three <laughs> millilittle points and so yeah so far testing is going good i just had uh another mandarin and some chickpea things that i found in the fridge because i was quite hungry and i'm about to go to jiu and i had breakfast this morning at 5 a.m so i'm pretty hungry because it's about midday but i'm going to run off to jiu i'm interested to see how one it doesn't get pulled out because i've not put tape over it so wish me luck on that one my next video might be oh my god i pulled it out and two that how my cortisol is after because that's what I'm worried about is that my juicy training because it's a fight or flight sport I am worried that my cortisol is increasing quite high and that's also contributing so I'm pretty pumped to see what my levels are directly after and I'll test again before I start training to see how this fruit has affected it too. So I had a mandarin and some salads and I've gone up to a 7.1 which is insane and it's just one mandarin this time. So I just finished jiu-jitsu training and like I showed you before, my glucose levels was up to a 7 before I started training. So I don't know if that was a little bit of adrenaline because I know I was about to start training or because of the mandarin and the salad I have. I really didn't expect it to boost up that much with a mandarin and salad. So tomorrow with training, I'm not going to eat anything since from before breakfast. I just want to see what affects that and it kind of makes me want to cut out mandarins at this point considering how high they've spiked it. But I'm also going to see if fruit is different in the morning and the evenings. So I did test it again after Jiu Jitsu and I was a 6.6. .6 and you would think that exercise you should go down theoretically. 
because you're burning glucose but because of the type of sport it's increasing cortisol into my blood and because it is kind of like a resistance training I am my body is needing more glucose into the muscles so it is expected to spike quite a bit so tomorrow I'm interested to see it how it spikes without having any of the food in any of the food before um, but other than that I feel okay I feel my heart racing a little bit still from training but I'm going to see how long it takes to go down and I'm going to go shower and then I'll have some lunch and we'll see how my lunch goes. So I had some lunch post Jiu Jitsu. My sugar levels went down after my shower but then I just had some wild fish that one of my clients gave me and a bunch of just salad and vegetables and avocado so there's no real carbs so it was just a bit of mushrooms and zucchini, some capsicum and a lot of like sprouts. Now my levels are going up to a seven right now. I was a 6.9 and trending upwards since I last checked and I hasn't been out since I've eaten. So I was still hungry after eating that because I was on a big meal that I was gonna go for some more fruit and I've only got um, mandarins at the moment and I don't really want to have mandarins after seeing my last spike. So I ended up going for some nuts but I'm noticing I'm choosing different foods because I'm trying to avoid the spikes when this week is about seeing what spikes but the spikes just don't make you feel good like you're seeing you're like I don't want it to spike I'm trying to keep it level so I'm trying to remind myself that this week is about enjoying the spikes seeing what spikes and then next week is about trying to maintain in that perfect range so I was talking to my sister about my spikes after the nectarines morning and uh, like early morning and in my head I was thinking Maybe it's a timing thing. Maybe it's the fact that I'm having it early on for breakfast and later on. But then she made a point that I didn't even think about, which is no duh, is in the morning because it was about an hour, a bit more than an hour, after having a high protein and fat um, breakfast, the exhaustion was much better. Whereas before Jiu Jitsu, that was about four or five hours before I've had fat and the absorption wasn't there so it seemed to have just completely spiked straight away my blood sugars went zoom so just before i had a quick snack when i have coffee my mom had an almond milk uh, cappuccino and a little rum ball which was like an energy nut ball that had a lot of fat and stuff in it so my levels actually barely even spiked so i'm testing another thing right now is this is one of my blueberry smoothies this is wild blueberries from canada that i get frozen here in australia and then i just have greens powder i have some dulse flakes in it i've got uh maca powder and you should put a bunch of other things but i've kind of ran out of most things and um a, a teaspoon of chia, chia seeds a tablespoon of chia seeds so i'm trying to see if the high fat is making the absorption a little better so it doesn't spike as much so we shall see <laughs> So, sum up for my today. I should really start doing these videos with a little bit more makeup. If you haven't realized, these glasses are my awesome blue blocker glasses that I always seem to wear in the evening to block out that blue light as I'm doing computer work right before bed when I probably shouldn't. So, one thing I've learned from today, day two, of wearing my blood glucose monitor, continuous blood glucose monitor, is the fact that when I eat food, always make sure I pair food with a fat and a protein. Probably just a fat would work just as well. I haven't tested that, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it works. It's a slower absorption, which is why they say if you're gonna eat junk food, eat something like chocolate over candy. It'll spike your insulin a little bit slower with the absorption with the fat, and it won't spike it as fast as something like jelly beans, like a type 1 diabetic. You generally just give them jelly beans or gummy bears or juice, something crazy. So today I realized that when I have my food, to not have it on an empty stomach and to always pair it with something. But in saying that, if you're a bodybuilder or you're someone doing extreme sports, it's actually a good idea to give yourself some like candy or give yourself something to repair the lost glucose throughout your workout. So I'm not saying that everyone should not be eating sugar or fruit. I'm just saying that if you're someone that's into biohacking and you're someone that's trying to maintain that unicorn sweet spot of your glucose levels, that if you do want to have fruit, make sure you pair it with a high, a high fat and a high protein food as well. 
So thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Tomorrow I'm going to start my official testing. So like I said, week one is going to be test week. Week two is going to be about trying to maintain my sugar levels as possible in that unicorn sweet spot. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to try a Coke really high sugar, see how high my sugar levels is going to spike and how fast it spikes. And I'm also going to try a healthy style of juice that's loaded with fruit without the fiber in it to see kind of the difference in the spike. So I'm pretty excited for that one. So if you haven't already, subscribe. In the meantime, keep being strong, happy and healthy.